Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are doing gameplay with the brand new free Invincible Kevin Garnett, the clutch time online reward here in season eight of NBA 2K24, my team, and an elite level card at that, without a doubt. Should be phenomenally good, um, and I think he's going to be an elite level option, legitimately. Like, I think... Um, really in terms of just overall versatility everything about this card besides his release is truly top tier and even the release i don't think is all that bad. i mean it's not great but he's a small forward he's got perfect six he's got elite size he's a great free card he provides elite level size really a nice small forward that i think makes a lot of teams better so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe massive shout out to my boy noah for letting me use his account to record this gameplay without further ado kevin garnett is 611 with 99 stats across the board as every invincible card has and then additionally 70 hall of fame badges seven gold badges including basically everything honestly i mean when you look at the gold badges that he has i would not say any of them are super important to have on hoff as a whole really good really complete card should be an absolute dog now the thing about him that is the one flaw we know what it is it's the same flaw that previous kg cards have had this year his release is still the same now what he is is a better version of his 100 overall basically that's the easiest way to describe this card he's 100 overall with slightly 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 better stats and badges but that means he's got basically perfect sigs outside of his same side hezzy, which isn't a perfect same side hezzy. You got to do it diagonally up instead of straight across, instead of straight to the side to get the right burst animation. But also with Kyrie Dribble style, it's not as important anyway. And the release is definitely greenable. It's just not super fast. And I think in game it's more noticeable than it is in freestyle, to be honest. But I do think KG, despite despite the uh, the struggles that he might have as a uh, when it comes to primary shot creation because of his release, I, I don't think this is a card that you're really going to be all that concerned about not being able to create a shot and um I, he doesn't need to be your primary shot creator anyway you know what i mean elite level defensive card capable of doing a lot offensively as well even if he isn't a true three hunter and i think he's gonna be a really really good card who's definitely maybe not the best small forward in the game but definitely a very good viable competitive level small forward whose defense and size of the three is going to be super valuable so let's hop into a game let's see what kg can do Wow, that's kind of funny, actually. We matched up against another dude who also has Invincible Kevin Garnett already grinded. That's impressive. Um, he's got, what, Timmy at the four, Sean Bradley at the five. This is a really good team. Kareem at the one, and then Cody Williams at the two. I mean, we got ourselves a heck of a matchup here. Both of us have very large, versatile lineups, and I think Kevin Garnett is a big part of uh, both of our plans. I would say that's a shot I have to green. I don't love the release. I never have, but I know that's also partially my fault, I think. And I think as a whole, he's going to be like, he's definitely a good card. He's a very good card. I just, I don't know. I have a hard time with the way that his release is, honestly, I think more than anything else, because it just, it's always a little inconsistent. Maybe it's me to a certain extent, but it always does seem to be the one thing that kind of always hurts a Kevin Garnett card. Get inside, not a great layup attempt. That's a bad decision. I thought I was going to get a standing dunk, to be honest. Didn't, but look at the play. Oh. There's just no way that's not a steal, right? I, I like, there's just no way. How did that not get stolen? Giannis animated straight for the ball and then just didn't get it. Like that's, that's nuts. Um, he misses a fade, we'll take that, run the floor. Let's get out in transition. He's gonna try to bump me probably. Uh, get it to KG, KG, go this way. He's just gonna off ball you, isn't he? Isn't he? Yep, you're really good at the game, brother. You're really good at the game. Dump down, we'll take our assist. We will take that. And that's a good bucket right there, getting our assist and um, tying the game up at two. If I had made my first three ball with KG, we'd be in a better spot, but that's that's on me, man. It happens. Um, get through the screen. Oh, never mind. Wow, that spin move just torched me. Why did Wimby get so launched? I mean, that he created so much separation with that. That's kind of impressive, honestly. Uh, drive the ball again. Giannis running the court. Swing it over to KG. KG here behind the back. Boom. Attack downhill. Can't really get it. Uh, I'll take my standing dunk. That works. Beautiful stuff. Good assist. This might be a game full of assists because I don't know if KG is going to be able to create a ton of open shots like we got on the first possession. Can I get a steal animation, man? You're right in front of the ball. You don't even reach up and try to get the ball. Like that's that's just annoying, honestly. Uh, run the floor. Back to KG. KG over here. Um, go. Yep. Go off ball in that corner. Oh, there we go. He actually clicked on ball. Um, reach yourself out of the play. He didn't reach himself out of the play. Okay. Can we get some space in a little bit? Uh, that's green, right? You got to green that. Let's go. KG hits the three ball. That's a big shot. Needed at that time. We are able to knock down the three. And that's a very big shot right there to tie up the game of seven. Um, switch. The, yo, 
like my defense. Why are you? I X switch and we'll just let them run right around you anyway. It just, that's unnecessary. I don't get it. It is what it is. Um, he's backing up big time. He's not letting me get anything easy. Same side has the Amani Bates attack the Ram, hit our pop. Don't know if this is really the best way to go about this possession, uh, but attack downhill again. Dump down to, K to Giannis, and Giannis gets the dunk. We'll take assists if that's what's going to be given to us. And with the way he's switching everything, that is the easiest way to score for sure. Try Dude, I just... Can y'all contest? Like, please. I, I, I click on, right stick up, trying to contest, and it's just like, nope. Not going to work this time, apparently. Crossover. Good drive. Let's go, Amani Bates. Okay. And one. Damn. No and one. Nice crossover, though. Got to the dunk meter, and then they got taken out of the dunk meter. At least they call a foul. And uh, we're going to the free throw line with an opportunity to tie the game back up. Now, the real question is, can we get the offense going enough with KG? Against a guy like this in, in a real game, where I'm not doing a gameplay with KG, I would not run anything through KG, like at all. He would be standing in the corner or screening. That is all he is doing. I'm not really trying to run offense through him. That's a bad play. I didn't mean to back so far off of with Wimby. That's my bad. It is. Um, it, well, we live, I guess, but it's definitely a little bit frustrating. Good dunk, KG. That's a great play right there, getting the standing to go. But we're down one, unfortunately, because I gave up a wide open three. I'll give this dude credit. He's a good player. But the, against a player who's actually pretty good like this, definitely this is not the strategy offensively that I would recommend using is running your offense through a guy like Kevin Garnett because he's just – this game sucks, by the way. Uh, this game is awful. Like, it's so bad. The fact that he got that steal and then got a standing dunk out of that animation is just stupid. But what are you going to do, I guess, right? Um, drive the ball again back over to the corner he's gonna I, I mean I respect this dude's not not a bad player but I don't know feels like it's very tough sometimes to do a gameplay uh at least an elite level with a guy like KG because of the uh like eh, I just eh. I don't know man I, I like the card I don't love love the card I feel like you're gonna struggle a bit to get a shot off that's one thing and he's just I wish he had a better same side has he I really like him defensively, obviously. I mean, I don't think that's a big surprise. Obviously, he's exceptional defensively. His size is valuable to three without a doubt. The switchability that he provides is really good. If you just gave him a slightly better Hezzy, maybe a better jump shot base. I mean, you're looking at one of the very best small forwards in the game, and it's not even particularly close. But right now, he's just not quite there, in my opinion. Um, and that's not saying he's a bad card, because he's certainly not. He's just not quite as elite as you'd probably like him to be. Um, no blocks, no contests, no nothing this whole game, by the way. I just have not been able to really get anything going at it with at any consistent level, unfortunately. But that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. Drive the ball, Giannis all the way to the rim. I guess we take our dunk here. But with a two-point deficit, 57 seconds left, it's going to be important to see if we can get a stop. Blitz that hand. Okay. Oh, that's my... Oh, my goodness, 2K. You are bummy. This company is... Go how is that not a steal? Like, are you trolling me, dude? Uh, actually, oh, my gosh. It just wasn't meant to be this game. I don't know if this is my fault or a combination of a couple things, but it just wasn't meant to be this game. I don't even. Oh my gosh, dude! You bait him. You bait him, and he gets a, he gets a dunk out of it. It's a free dunk, and I baited him perfectly. Played it right. KG's in the position. Tips the ball. Doesn't steal it. Just 2K24 my team for you. They'll pick a winner half the time. I don't even know what to say about it besides that. It is what it is. Um, KG, unfortunately, only with eight points. The one missed open three by me is unfortunately going to come up pretty big here. But uh, what are you going to do, I guess, right? It kind of is what it is. Um, blitz that hand. No way, dude. I mean, his, his ability to literally not get the ball stolen from him a single time all game is incredible. Because he, he should have three or four turnovers, and he has zero. Like... Somebody explain that to me, please, man. I just don't get the way this game is played sometimes. It's just, there's no skill gap to it whatsoever. This dude runs around the circles the whole game. And he hasn't done anything the whole damn game. Thank you, 2K. Goodness gracious. Backwards fade. If I green that, I'm a dog. I didn't green it. That's a tough shot, though. I mean, that is a tough shot. Backwards fade. I didn't know the timing on it exactly. He's got pro two, but I missed it early. That's unfortunate because that could have been the game tying play right there. I think we deserve to win that game, but... Can't miss that fade right there. That's on me. I get it. Um, probably could have done a few things better. Missed the free three at the beginning of the game as well. It happens. At the end of the day, this KG card is very good. I wish his release was a little better. We already knew that was going to be the case. He's still a really good small forward. Um, win or lose. And I think if you are in need of small forward, he could definitely compete at the highest level. Is he the best small forward in the game? Absolutely not. There are better. But he's a very good card. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.